Because climate change is increasing on Earth, demand for resources is increasing, and China is exploiting the world market of rare earth minerals, I am happy to affirm this resolution today, which is resolved. U.S. federal government should increase its development of the Earth's moon in one or more of the following areas, energy, minerals, and or water. So, let's get to observation one, resolutional analysis. Subpoint A, I reserve the right to define as the Prime Minister, and I'm going to define this as a policy debate. Subpoint B, the definitions, I think, are contextual, and if you have any problems with the way that I, I choose to go about this, let them be known. Subpoint C, the plan. U.S. federal government will spend $500 million per year to develop resource mining on the moon. So these, this will focus particularly on titanium, rare earth minerals, and ice which according to discovery.com in 2011, uh, these three resources are uh, abundant on the moon. The funding for the plan will come from the military budget every year. Now the military budget is over $650 billion and growing, so taking $500 million from that per year is going to be uh, less than a fraction of 1% of it. The agency that this will uh, go through is NASA and SpaceX, so NASA will handle more of like the research part, SpaceX handles more of uh, the, the actual vehicular uh, ability uh, to do this. The time frame is that this will take place over 10 years, and uh, now subpoint D, criterion will be net benefits. So let's get to observation 2, advantage 1. This can be taglined, the more titanium, the merrier. Subpoint A is that minerals such as titanium are in constant demand on Earth. According to the Titanium Market Report for 2015, they note that worldwide consumption exceeds 70,000 tons per year for the last four years, and that current industry projections for titanium indicate a 40% increase in demand in 2015. Subpoint B is that due to the growing aerospace industry, uh, especially as demand continues to grow for newer, more fuel-efficient aircraft, uh, this is the reason that we're seeing a growth in demand for titanium. Um, also noted in the titanium market report uh, is an expansion of infrastructure, um, and overall demand is also expected to increase as the recession uh, is lifted. Subpoint C the moon is rich in resources, and developing its capacity for resource mining uh, is going to be key for helping us get those resources here on Earth. Subpoint D, let's get to a few impacts. First, we're going to see an increase in the global economy. Next, we're going to see an increase in United States influence as we uh, are able to uh, get a foothold on the moon as far as mining titanium. And third, we're going to see more fuel efficient vehicles. So, observation three, advantage two, this is taglined, get on my rare earth level. So that's like from the perspective of China, right? Like that's what they're saying. They're like, get on our level. Subpoint A, China right now is cornering the market on rare earth minerals, not only on earth, but also on the moon, and demand is growing for those minerals. Uh, this is according to sciencedaily.com in a 2015 article. Subpoint B, the Jade Rabbit lander successfully touched down on the moon in December 2013, and the Chinese Space Agency has publicly suggested establishing a base on the moon as we did in the South Pole and the North Pole. So we see that China is already there, and we can't let them corner the market on the moon uh, as well as Earth. Um, according to InvestorIntel.com, China is dramatically decreasing its exports while global demand increases, uh, rare earth minerals are really important for everything from mobile phones to computers to car batteries. Uh, Subpoint C is that the U.S. will get a foothold in the market, which will allow the rest of the world to benefit. D point, let's get to a couple impacts. Uh, we'll see cheaper, better technology from phones to car batteries, and we'll stop the Chinese monopoly. Observation 4, Advantage 3, you can tagline this, Ice Ice Baby. 
Uh, this is about how mining ice is going to be really important. Subpoint A. Physics world writer Richard Corfield explains that where there is ice, there is fuel. Several energy companies, for example, Texas-based Shackleton Energy, plans to mine the vast reserves of water and ice to convert it into rocket propellant in the form of hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, also, the, they note that um, to do this now on Earth uh, contributes to climate change. So point B is that NASA has programs in the works already um, blasting off in the next year and, and two years uh, to study how, like, where these resources are, so we'll already know where to mine. Subpoint C is that mining ice will give us a non-Earth source for rocket fuel, drinking water, and oxygen. Let's get to some impacts now. Subpoint D. First, we'll see more availability of rocket fuel. Next, we'll have a decrease in climate change. And third, we'll see the opportunity for extended space missions when we have what will basically be like a refueling station on the moon. So uh, for those three uh, advantages, I'm happy to affirm the resolution today. Um, and uh, let's go to the moon and let's mine the resources. Thank you.